That thing just like one shots everything that it hits. I don't like it. I don't like it. What's up guys and welcome back to Battle Cats. So last episode we made a lot of progress in chapter one and I wasn't really sure how much we had left but I really wanted to finish it this episode. Turns out that shouldn't be a problem because we are on the very last level right now, the moon. And I say it's not a problem because I technically have three or four attempts at it, but people have been telling me that it is an incredibly difficult level, way harder than anything else we've done so far. So. Like, it's the next thing I have to do. I have to give it a try. I don't know if I'm ready or not, but I figured the logical thing to do would be upgrade some cats. We have a bunch of experience. We can definitely evolve some of our loadout. One that everybody wanted to see was Raiden. So how about we just go ahead and evolve him right now into Dragon Slayer Raiden. An ancient anti-cat dragon weapon, Raiden forcefully set to overdrive. 100% area knockback versus red enemies. Okay. So he's stronger, I would assume, because he looks way more badass now. He's got a bunch of spikes and stuff like that. I like it. That took a lot of experience. Way more than I thought. That was like 700,000 that I just used. I also want to upgrade Swordsman Cat because I use him quite a bit and he's very good against red enemies and he's pretty cheap as well. Swordsman Cat right here. Can I get you done? Yes, just enough. Oh! I didn't even need to use that last one because I already had the plus one. He's now Sword Master Cat. Mastered the art of dual wielding. Whoa! That little fancy fiery backflip is pretty cool. Also can use magic. Scary combination. Flame swords do massive damage to red enemies. All right. So I don't know if there are a lot of red enemies on the moon. I really hope that there aren't any aliens this early on in the game because I don't think I have anything anti-alien. Either way, it's like I said, I have 190 energy and I think it only costs 40 energy, 50 energy to give it a try. So we can give it a couple attempts. Let's just jump in. What's the worst that could happen? I could probably upgrade some more cats. I might be able to be a little bit more prepared. Okay, the music is epic and that's a giant floating head. What is that? Oh, this map is really small to embrace the wilderness, says the floating head. Oh, maybe it's floating. Okay, so I might need anti-floating. I do have Necromancer Cat. I remembered to bring him, so we could just stack up, uh, I don't know, should I level up? Should I stack up some cats? I don't know what the strategy is here. He's moving real slow, so we get some time here. I think I want to, oh crap, crap, crap. Let's just send out some random cats. Maybe Farzy Cat Cannon pushes, oh God. Oh no, don't don't go up against him guys. No, 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 you're not ready. We're, we're not prepared yet. <laughs> we need to start spamming meat shields. And that'll, that'll get the job done, right? And then maybe some anti-floating. We got Dragon Cat up there. He's got some pretty good range. That thing just like one shots everything that it hits. I don't like it, I don't like it. We're not doing too bad though. I have so many meat shields that he can't take them all down at once. Yes, let's get Raiden out there. Any Uber is a good Uber. <laughs> I'm perfectly fine with just continuously spamming meat shields and then hopefully getting some damage in with him. Uh, we can also get these two out here. Fire Zit Cat Cannon, a couple more. I think something is slowing or stopping him. Oh, that might be Necromancer Cat. I think Necromancer Cat has a chance at stopping floating enemies. He, he has to be floating. <laughs> he gets all veiny when he, oh, bites down. I thought he was dead there. I got the income. I could just spam every single cat. So I feel like this is as good as it's gonna get for this level. He's dead. We killed him. Of course, I don't know if that's technically the, the boss or not. Maybe that was easy. I'm not 100% sure. We're gonna find out, hopefully nothing pops out of there. Please, I don't need like a, a giant double head or something like that. Just send out everything, kill the base, fire the cat cannon, do it all. Feel like we're doing it. Feel like we're getting there. Did I just beat the moon on my first try? I'd be super happy with that. Yes! <laughs> that wasn't so difficult. Received superior moon. Ooh, I think that's the best treasure you can get too. How lucky. Ooh, is there a story? Did I save the world? What is this? <laughs> After all the battles, the world was overrun by the battle cats. A government of the cats, by the cats, 
for the cats is the new world. Or that's what I thought. In the end... I wish this was scrolling a little faster. Nothing really changed! Well, if I have to say something... I see a lot more cats nowadays. If you really want to call those cats, that's pretty much it. Oh, by the way... I had a cat come into my office. For a job interview, he didn't get in. We might be really busy, but a cat is just a cat, unless he's a battle cat. However, I do feel lucky if I see one in the office or at school. Wouldn't you? This is just, this dribble anyways. This is crap. Who writes these? Congratulations to the Battle Cats. Thank you, Battle Cats. Battle Cats forever. I didn't read the opening one of these when you load up the game because it's just... It makes as little sense as what I just read. The end. Thank you for playing. Except for Chapter 2 and Chapter 3 and everything else in the game. What? Okay, bye. A new chapter for Empire of Cats is available. Select Empire of Cats from the title screen. Take on new challenging stages. The Stories of Legends has been unlocked. Regular event stages can also be accessed from Stories of Legend. A new adventure has appeared. Select Into the Future from the title screen to take on this fresh challenge. Battle formations increased. Up to three formations may now be readied by visiting the equip screen. Okay, so I can scroll down multiple times. Cat combo unlocked. Arrange your units to unlock a power bonus. Visit the combo list menu for more info. Cat combo? I don't know anything about that. Oh my god, there's so much stuff. The Cat Claw Dojo is now opened. <laughs> Select the Cat Claw Dojo option from the title menu to test your cat's power and skill. Cleared, oh yeah, that's right. I get, uh, Moneko. Oh, I get that cute cat, all right. What is it? Oh, Toto Core has been unlocked. Build and enhance your cat base and its cat cannon abilities. Check it out at uh, the Gamatota menu. Okay, I think Gamatota is actually back from an expedition, so we should probably go do that. And then I guess we can do that with uh, Empire of Cats, right? This is, yeah, this is all different. Oh, I see now. Okay, so Empire of Cats is the, the main story, and we just finished Chapter 1, Battle Cats Rising. I can go back and still get the treasures, which I want to get at some point, but for now we can move on to the Emperor of Darkness, Chapter 2. And if I clear Empire of Cats in Chapter 2, I get Valkyrie Cat. She looks awesome. I really want her. Okay, but first we're going to go to Gamatoto, who actually has a... Uh, New clothes! I unlocked clothes when he was leveling up, and now he's got a funny little drill and a helmet with goggles and stuff like that. What'd you get, Gamatoto? Anything cool? Level up! That's pretty sweet. Brought me back some cat food and stuff like that, I assume. Yep, four cat foods, more experience. I like it. So before I send him out on another expedition, you guys have been telling me that if I click on his tent, something should happen? Nothing is... Whoa, who are you? Welcome to the Ototo Core. Change the look of your cat base and enhance its combat abilities. What? Tap the chief engineer to start. <laughs> Select a blueprint to start building. Oh my god, there's like another Gamatoto. That's amazing. I need to get materials though. We need brick, feathers, and wood. And then he can actually upgrade my base? I've never seen any of this before. Look at his cute little overalls! He's such a pudgy little cat! I wasn't even trying to see what that was, I was trying to- You guys were telling me to click on the tent, I'm clicking on the tent, nothing is happening. Okay, let's send him out for another expedition, maybe I need to send him out first? So when he goes out and does his stuff... Uh, anybody? Anybody in there? Do? Hmm, strange. 
Maybe I'm doing something wrong? I have seen a little cat poke his head out of the tent like once before. Do I need to click on the tent when he shows up or is it just any time? Because I was hammering on the tent and nothing's happening. I'm not totally sure, but either way, we unlocked Moneko. Hoping to become an idol, she sings on the streets every day. You might see her around, please say hi. So she doesn't seem all that special. Uh, she has a critical hit and single attack. So I guess she might be good against metal units maybe? She might be one of the more visually appealing and less useful cats, I'm gonna say. Probably won't spend a whole lot of experience leveling her up right now. And then we also finished a mission, which means I get more cat food. Sweet. People were telling me Axe Cat isn't all that useful, but I have him in my loadout because I don't really have any better cats in my eyes. So I'm just gonna upgrade him. Oh, he becomes Brave Cat. Pretty much the same as Axe Cat. He's a hero wannabe, and he's strong against red enemies, and he's super cheap. And that's really all that I care about. If I can spam a couple of anti-red cats in an anti-red level, then I'm pretty happy with that. I guess we can just move on to more levels. Oh, we're back on Earth. I don't know, I kind of expected this to be in a different setting. We just went to the moon and then saved the world. Why are we in Korea all of a sudden? Okay, you know what, screw it, we're invading Korea. Don't ask questions, just do as the cats say. Uh, yep, we got some red lettuce, I'm gonna say. Sure. Oh, my cats are all more expensive now. They cost like 50% more than they did in chapter one. I noticed that in the events too, everything is more expensive. So that's how the game is gonna get more difficult, huh? Okay, that's a uh, kind of a bummer. I like just being able to spam everything. Then again, I do want more of a challenge. It's like I said, chapter one, I don't think I really tried. After the first episode, I don't think I lost at all. Even the moon wasn't particularly difficult. So maybe it's for the best that everything costs a little bit more now. I know that most people have probably been playing this game for a very long time or they've watched people that have, but it's such a cool feeling to see my entire lineup as evolved cats. They're so badass. I kind of want to send out some of the new cats that I have so we can send out Brave Cat and uh, Master Swordsman, was it? Uh, why are my wall cats are already hitting the base? <laughs> I haven't even sent out anything yet. The level's only just getting started. Wait, no, what? Oh, fiery backflips. Okay, well, hey, there we go, superior kimchi. I'll, I'll take it, that was weird. Wait a minute, now we're moving on to Mongolia? Is this the same as the first chapter? Is it just more difficult? Did they really just rehash it, but make it so that everything cost 50% more and it's probably like 50% stronger or something like that? Cause I feel like we've been to Mongolia before. What would happen if I don't even bother upgrading? I'm not even gonna send out any powerful units. I'm just gonna spam my two weakest cats. Just gonna send out the meat shields and test the waters to see if this is what I think it is in that it's just a rehashing of chapter one. Yeah, I'm smelling a rehashing. We have a superior portable tent though. I'm getting the treasures. So if I'm right, and chapter two is the same as chapter one, and all of these opening levels are so easy that I can send out any cats to beat them, then I'm probably gonna do it in between episodes. Not the whole chapter, just until I get to a point where something interesting happens, because something has to be different, right? But I can't imagine why people would want to see the exact same thing again, and I don't know what I would commentate over levels that I can just crush. Like, I don't even need to be playing, it's just hitting any random button. I wish I could do more rare cat capsules. Like, I haven't gotten any in such a long time, and you guys were telling me that I should give this event a try because it's a triple chance for tactical master uber cats. And, you know, that sounds good, triple chance, but it's still only 16%. That's not good. I don't want to gamble on 16%. I want 100%. I would much rather hold on to my cat food for that. I'm sure some of these Ubers are probably great, but it's not like I need them right now, to be perfectly honest. Maybe we can try to get a capsule or uh, technically a ticket from the event. I think the event is now Stories of Legend, right? If we clear the Great Escaper, we could get a chance at Uru Run Wolf. Okay, that looks like a crazy looking cat. But I think, yeah, Heavenly Tower. Okay, so they released this event for two weeks and it's just a tower. You work your way up the floors and then I think certain levels do come with the reward of a rare cat capsule. So maybe we should try to do that. I have no idea if this is gonna be too difficult, but I would much rather a challenge to be honest. Hello? 
Is anybody home? I'm in some kind of terrifying crypt right now, and- Oh, hello, doggo! Doggos! Try doggos! Easy enough? I have killed the doggos, and now my two wall cats are making their way to the base. They are hitting the base. There has to be more here, right? Should I just send out a whole bunch of stuff for- Oh, there we go, okay. That's uh, still not all that scary. It's just a hippo, right? Okay, and a whole bunch of snakes. We can take care of that. I sent out a mythical titan anyway. One good punch should take care of most of them, I would imagine. I won't fire the cat cannon just yet because- <laughs> I want to see how overpowered he is. <laughs> he punches the hippo right in his buck teeth. Okay, fire the cannon, take care of everything, send out all the rest. We're done here, folks. Mythical Titan Cat kind of feels like an Uber because he costs almost 2,000, and once you get him out, he just does so much freaking work. Okay, we got a speed up item. That's fine, that's not a rare cat capsule, so I guess we're moving on to floor two. How much energy do I have? These cost 40 each. I think I can do two more levels. I'm pretty sure I can watch a YouTube video to get some more energy. So we will try floor two in the search for a rare cat capsule. We have a snake and a doggo. That it? Okay, was this overkill? I'm not totally sure if this is overkill. It's the only thing that I've sent out. I just want to see more of him. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, maybe send out more stuff. Maybe set, okay. Uh, that was almost scary. That was a black unit? I haven't seen black units before. It was Black Doggo. <laughs> cool! All right, well, uh, Raiden still put it to bed. Good job, buddy. <laughs> I do know that uh, the Heavenly Tower is designed for all players, so, like, I'm not gonna be able to clear it. I'm still relatively new to the game. I'm weak, but everybody can play it, and everybody can work their way up it, and everybody should eventually get stuck. That being said, I hope I can get a little bit more energy. No, I just need four more energy for another level. Uh, maybe, oh, uh, make that three. I'm just gonna wait. I've never actually checked, but it looks like you regain one energy per minute. Either way, we now have 40, so we can try floor three and our final attempt at getting a rare cat capsule this episode. We have a much longer level. Once again, the kind of creepy cat crypt by the looks of it, and nothing going on. Just the way I like it. Whoa, 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 Red Rabbit. Hold your horses here. You need to get fiery backflipped into oblivion. He's so freaking good against red units. Holy crap, he just killed- Whoa, 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 whoa. What is that? Whoa, what is that? It's an angel. I don't have any anti-angel. I also- did not expect this level to be a challenge. Okay, no, this is, we, we knocked him back. That's a good start, send out everything. <laughs> okay, that is cool. Angel Hippo. Well, luckily I did level up a little bit, so we do have enough money to fight him off. Okay, we saw our first black unit today. We saw our first angel unit today. I didn't have any anti-angel, but I guess you don't necessarily need it if you, uh, have enough cats spammed out there. Hopefully there are no more tricky surprises waiting for us in there. I would just like a cat ticket now, please. I don't need any more stupid random items. Fires a cat cannon anyway, in victory. And we get, oh, what's a rich cat? Rich cat is an item that you can consume, which will let you start the level with your worker cat at max level. So it's not completely useless. I'm happy to have it, but at the same time, it's not a rare cat capsule, and I'm out of energy. So you know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Battle Cats, guys. We beat the moon, we got past the giant floating head, and we started working our way up the tower. I think next episode I'd like to continue with the tower, because it is only a 10 day event, and I feel like that's where the biggest challenge is gonna be. I'm gonna go back, try to get the treasures for the levels that we've already played, maybe make a little bit of progress in chapter two, just past the levels that aren't technically levels for me anymore, and then hopefully sooner than later we'll be able to get some more Uber cats. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.